Hey guys, Coach Gaglione here. This is another edition of our at-home workouts. Today we're going to talk about a device that you can get from Spud Inc. This is called an Infinity Loop. So this is kind of like a play on the hip circle, uh, which again, I love all the Mark Bell Slingshot products. You can get it at markbellslingshot.com. Um, so this is just kind of like a three-way kind of deal. I'm not sure, I'm not as familiar with this product as Mark Bell's Hip Circle, but I just want to give you guys another option. I do really like this one, especially more for upper body. There's a couple of uh, unique things about it. So again, you can see it has three loops. Uh, and what that allows us to do is have some different uh, options, especially for in terms of the upper body, whereas a lot of like, kind of like the Mark Bell Hip Circle is kind of best a little bit more for lower body, even though we did have a video which you guys could check out earlier on the channel about some upper body uses for it. So this is kind of unique in the design because uh, especially if I'm doing two arm movements, uh, this is gonna give me some more options. And you, as you can see, it can um, allow the body to kind of converge and diverge. So if I'm doing something like a curl or a tricep extension, there's gonna be what's called a carrying angle. So you're not, again, one of the issues with uh, doing a lot of straight bar training is the straight bar is fixed. So doing using something a device like this or bands is gonna allow you to kind of have a more natural uh, plane of motion for a lot of different upper body movements to allow your shoulder to kind of rotate, flex, and extend uh, all at the sa same time. So for a couple of drills that we're gonna show first, you want a sturdy anchor point. So this has got a lot of weight on it, something like a pull-up bar or a power rack. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of different options. The first thing I'm gonna go over is this some triceps uh, with the infinity loop. Again, you get this through Spud Inc. So if I go here and have an anchor point like this, I could do something like an overhead kind of tricep variation and I can kind of put this behind me. Now, one of the other things to consider with this infinity loop is uh, it's not gonna be as, quite as stretchy as a band, so it will kind of be plastic at a certain point. Um, so you're not gonna have as much play with how far away you can go, so just kind of keep that in mind. So again, now if I'm here, as I come out and do the tricep extension, again, the band's pulling me back this way. I'm going to press out like this. So I can have a little bit more of a natural plane of motion. And I can spread my arms a little bit to kind of do my overhead tricep extensions that way. So that's a great option as well. If I uh, wanted to use Kind of going with the again the theme of the tricep here. Again, if I have a higher anchor point, so I'm going to go just just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to kind of kneel down for this one. Uh, if I have a higher anchor point, I can go do some tricep press downs here. So I'm going to go to press down and out. So I'm going to start here. So I'm going to press down. And out, so I'm getting tricep extension with shoulder extension. So that's going to be a full lockout end range for the tricep. So again, I'm pressing. My arm wants to come out. This design is going to allow me to do so and get a full range of motion versus doing something like a straight straight bar kind of variation. Other things that you can do with this as well. You could do like a tricep kickback. I could do this one or two arms at a time. So I could do one arm or two arms. So I can kind of bend over and do a tricep kickback here. So again, that's gonna be a little bit more challenge depending on your anchor point. So I'm gonna press in like this. So that's a tricep kickback. So if I have a barbell, I can also do a similar thing, kind of put on the barbell and kind of do triceps that way. So there's different anchor points again. So if I want to do my uh, extensions and stuff, so you can kind of adjust the rack up or down, put it on the barbell. So there's other options depending on what's bolted down and what's not. Uh, next thing I want to go through is uh, variations for the upper back. So again, depending on the anchor point, we can do a lot of different upper back movements so especially to kind of target the rear delts, it's going to be really nice because, again, we have this multiple loops here, so it's going to allow to really kind of converge and diverge with my body. So 
I can kind of do like a lat pull down type exercise if I kind of stay up here. I can do kind of a stretcher movement where I kind of go into like a lat pull down into a rowing motion. Other things I could do is just some rows here. So keeping my elbows in. So if I drive my elbows down toward my body, it's gonna work a little bit more of my lats. If I bring my elbows out, it's gonna work a little bit more of my rear delts. And the more I kind of bring my elbows out more and more, that's gonna work more of a reversed fly. And it's gonna work my rear delts more and more. I can come face folds here. So again, you can kind of adjust the angle. It's gonna work more of my upper traps depending on and my external rotators, depending on what angle I do. So that's a couple of different options there for upper back, lots of variety there. I can also just stand on the band here. And I can go a little bit wider and I can kind of do my rear delt work from this angle. And the last way I can kind of do uh, some rear delts uh, and I guess you do some rows and stuff from here as well. Not as effective for that. The last way I really like to do the rear delts with this is kind of do like a pull apart motion. So I can grab the ends like this, spread the band, and come in. Just like that. I could also just kind of work some external rotators this way as well. Not as effective for that, but there's some options here. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's the great uh, options for the upper back with the infinity loop. Some other things that we could do is work our bicep with the infinity loop. So again, I'm gonna step through. So again, I could kind of go, whatever my natural carrying angle is, I can kind of adjust to that spread and then come back in just like this. Not my favorite option, but it's something if you don't have a lot of bands or dumbbells. I could also kind of do more of a hammer curl type variation here. So I like this a little bit better because I can kind of twist at the top this way if I hold it with this grip, or I could just stay for a hammer curl, or I can go kind of back and forth doing the hammer curl. So I can start from a semi-supinated position and then I supinate. Now what's nice about this, it's trying to pull me into a pronated position. One of the functions of the bicep is supinating the forearm. So I get some resistance, not just from elbow, flexion, but also supination. So I'm working multiple functions of the bicep, getting some additional resistance to kind of pull my arm that way. So that's, that's a nice benefit to train your bicep. In terms of shoulders, I really like this for kind of like uh, upright row type motions. This is a nice feel. If you don't again, have a lot of dumbbells. So again, if you're really strong, you can kind of do a little bit of like a rear uh, side delt motion here. If I want to kind of do more of an upright row, I can do higher reps. So again, trying to drive my elbows out and lead with my pinky to work my side delt so I can go more of a pure lateral feel or upright row, which is more compound. You can do a little bit more reps that way. So. Those are some great options for upper body for the infinity loop. Uh, I've been kind of using this a lot in my warm-ups. It's been really good. Uh, the other thing I've been kind of playing with uh, from time to time, and I don't think this is really uh, the real use for it, is almost you kind of make a, a makeshift kind of bow tie with it as well, like this. And it can also provide some compression uh, for the upper back, uh, for the, the bicep tendon as well. Uh, kind of almost gives you like a blood flow restriction feel. So if you do have some bands and you want to kind of try that out, that's just been something that I've been doing from time to time. 
If you have lighter dumbbells, you want to make them kind of harder. It's going to kind of kind of constrict the blood flow a little bit. So that's something to consider as well if you want to kind of experiment with it. Just playing with it, it's not what it's designed to do, but it is an option with the infinity loop. So that's a pretty cool tool from Spudding. Uh, again, not as familiar with this device. I'm still kind of playing with it, but I think it's a nice kind of addition to if you have a hip circle already, you want to add some variety. Um, again, especially for upper body, I feel like this is a really nice kind of tool for that. So that's the infinity loop you can get on spudinc.com. I think it's spud-inc, I believe. Uh, we'll include links in the description. No affiliate code, just want to help you guys out. So that's the Infinity Loop by Spud. Another great at-home workout. If you guys enjoyed the video, please share it. Uh, please share it with a friend. Please subscribe. Check out the links below if you want to support the program. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, stay strong, and we'll see you soon.